Hopefully that's enough for the thumbnail. <laughs> to my YouTube channel or if you're new here welcome my name is non anonymous weirdo otherwise known as Alana and today I figured it'd be fun to go over what I got for Christmas 2022 edition so without further ado let's get into this and I really hope that I can finish this video before dinner is ready because I got places to be after and I don't know if I'm gonna have time so we shall see oh gosh I'm dropping stuff left and right already so this Christmas was fun I really enjoyed it had a great time and I mean you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start honestly instead of just like talking your ear off so yeah let's start <laughs> so first of all I got these um, little action figures for my little sister they look a little goofy but that's okay they're they're fun they're cute um, they're for one of my favorite TV shows my favorite TV show is the walking dead so my little sister got me a uh, Rick Grimes action figures so he's got some googly eyes so it's kind of cool kind of funny looking and then Daryl Dixon he's pretty cool too I, I like them both they're really cool characters so I got these and then those are for my little sister and then for my amazing boyfriend I got these two Funko Pops. These are actually from when he went to the UK. Um, he went to the UK for a military thingy and he got me Jack Skellington and a Thor and they're these really cool like glow in the dark ones or UV glow ones. I don't know. They're really cool. I really like them. They're, they're, I love collecting Funko Pops in case you didn't know. They're just something I like to collect. Um, and he also, oh gosh, stuff is falling. He also got me this, which is Captain America through the ages, which is so cool. Like Captain America is my favorite Avenger. And I don't know, I don't know why. He's just my favorite. And maybe it's because Chris Evans is so gorgeous. I don't know, I'm a little biased. But it shows him through all the ages and it shows like every single uniform he has, which it is I don't know I feel like it's pretty dope it's just so cool I don't know it's definitely gonna have to go on my wall somewhere I don't know where because my dorm is packed I don't know if I can bring that to my dorm and then um I also got this from Zach it's a cute little dress even though I need to purchase a slip for it underneath because it's kind of see-through which I didn't know when I asked for it but it's a really cute pink pink dress I would try it on but like I said before it is see-through it's very flowy and loose and spring like and fun so you got me this as well I don't know it's so cute I'm really trying to get back into wearing dresses again because I, I don't know as a kid I loved wearing dresses but then for some reason I was so against the idea of being girly so I was like no dresses ever no dresses um but now I've embraced the dresses again. I think dresses are fun and they're cute and I don't see why I should not want to wear clothing because it's, you know, too girly or something. I don't know. It was kind of weird. I got like stocking stuffers from my grandma, like, you know, like candy and well, not that bracelet. That bracelet is just a broken bracelet of mine. Um, got this interesting little journal thing that's bedazzled. Thanks, Grammy. This is also bedazzled. Not my typical style, that's what I'll say. And then my Aunt Linda, she got me something really pretty and cute. Oh my gosh, my hair, my hair is crazy. She got me these cute little cross, if I can pull them out. These cute little cross earrings. Honestly, I might wear these tonight, but they're really cute. Um, so I'll definitely enjoy those because I like earrings a lot. Then for my grandma, I also got this Funko Pop. It's Falcon the Winter Soldier. It's uh, Captain America, but it's Falcon Captain America. And I don't know, it was so dope. It's so dope looking. 
Sam Wilson is pretty cool. If anyone were to get the get Captain's name title, I'm glad it was Sam Wilson. I feel like he he put he's he has the essence. I feel like the good being like good essence in my opinion. And he's funny, honestly. There are some things I wouldn't quite call gifts, but they're just really cute. I want to show you like Zach got me this cute little reindeer. His name is Clydesdale or Clyde. Really cute. Zach was like, you have to have a good name or else I'm not buying it for you. So Clydesdale, very cute. Anyway, my grandma also got me this burrito blanket and I am obsessed with this. It even came with a little bag, like a bag for my Dorito blanket. I don't know where that bag is right now, but it's whatever. Um, it's really soft. Honestly, it's lightweight, which is nice. It's always good to have a lightweight blanket. And I have like 20 million blankets, but that's besides the point. I have, I might have a slight obsession with blankets and all things cuddly and warm and soft. As you know, I really like Minecraft, or if you don't know, surprise, you know, I really like Minecraft. And I got this little dragon. She's really cute. She's supposed to be like the dragon and in the end. And she makes noise. And lights up. Super cool. Very cute. That was for my older sister and her boyfriend Skylar. This is one thing I'm not I don't have with me over here. But um I had a family gathering that I went to and they were like giving all the adults like simple gifts. They forgot I was an adult, but then one of them didn't want their gifts so they gave it to me. Um, so I actually got some like a body spray with, that came with fuzzy socks and some lotion which was really nice. It was like a cucumber and melon and then another one was like a some sort of flower scent. So those were nice because I have two of them. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll take it, I'll take it, especially the lotion. You know, dry hands and everything with winter. I also got some rain boots, which I'm actually going to wear tonight because it's kind of wet outside. And these are just like some cute, simple rain boots that I've been needing. I've been needing rain boots because I go to Virginia Tech and it rains so much. And I don't really have any waterproof shoes except for one pair of boots, but those are only so waterproof. And so my while my other shoes are not waterproof at all so I got these and I actually got $50 from my grandparents and I found $50 that they gave me last year so I bought myself some hiking boots which are also waterproof they're like water resistant so that's exciting um but yeah these are cute boots simple black booties and there's something I'm actually sitting on that I got yes bear with me it's another blanket it's really fuzzy on the inside though. It's like so soft. And I got socks that match it. Yeah, really cute. And they're not the socks, like regular socks. They're like the grippy warm socks are fuzzy on the inside and like grippy on the outside. It's so amazing. And I got other fluffy socks, fuzzy socks. I love socks, especially fuzzy socks. I've always, I don't know, I just love socks. As a kid, I didn't have a lot of socks or they were mismatched. And we had trouble finding the socks because they were all in like a big pile in my mom's room. So I've kind of become a bit of a sock snob, I'd say. Because I just love having socks. I can never have enough. Um, anyway, I got a couple of books for my mom. I asked for some books. And I was like, yeah, um, give me a couple books. You know, I don't know specifically what books I want, but just give me something you know I'd like. So she got me this book called Ashes in the Snow, which is about a young Jewish prisoner in Auschwitz. And then it's also about a detective who's trying to investigate the unexplained death of the renowned Nazi. And it's, you know, just really interesting. Sounds interesting. So it's like, He's trying to solve a murder. This guy's trying to come to Auschwitz to solve a murder and he discovers a lot more. So I'm pretty sure it like takes place in two different times. Um, if I'm remember if I'm like thinking correctly. I'm not 100 percent sure. But it seems really interesting. And then she also got me this book called A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. Um, which is about it's a coming of age story in the turn of the century. So like the late the early 1900s and I always like you know this type of stuff it's very um 
She said since I like Anna Green Gables, I would like this, so that's cool. And with some of that money, I had a ton of gift cards from Target. I got, a, I got a Target gift card for Christmas as well. I don't remember from who. But I got a Target gift card, and I had a ton of other Target gift cards, so I bought this. This is a, a book I bought called The Tattooist of Auschwitz. I really like World War II books, so that's why I have so many. So I also got that. Um, what was that? Oh. But that's not really a Christmas present. I bought that with like money given to me. But I still figured I'd show it. Then, real quickly, I'm jumping everywhere, but my best friend, she got me a $5 Starbucks gift card, and she got me these cute little stickers. It's like, grace upon grace, Jesus saves, God is good, blessed, like, and I have more stickers that I put on my water bottle. Let me grab those. So I have, um, let's see, I have this one, which is give, give us today our daily bread, which I think is really cute. And then... This one just says Jesus, and it's like really pretty. Continuing on, my parents also got me a life application study Bible, because I've been really wanting to go more in depth with my Bible reading, which is super exciting. I've already started, because it's January 4th when I'm recording this, and so like I've already started like highlighting things and things that like stood out to me, and it's really cool, because it's, it gives, of course, the scripture, but then it has, like, an explanation of the scripture at the bottom. So it allows you to go more in depth, and I'm just so pumped for that. And I needed a new Bible, because my Bible I've had since I was a little kid. And it's very beat up and messed up. Then my boyfriend's spiritual mentors, they got me some chocolates. I've eaten most of these already, but these were so good. They're, like, good. They're, like, these are good chocolates. Because I didn't know what I'd want, but... Of course, you can never go wrong with chocolate. Um, continuing onward, I got a cute little beanie. I can't put it on really very well right now because I have my hair up, but it's a cute green beanie with a smiley face. Um, oh yeah, I also got this little cute ornament from my sister that she made herself. It says, Tis the Season. All right, my camera died awkward, and now my my now the camera angle isn't as good. I apologize, but I cannot get it fixed for whatever reason. Anyway, what I was saying is, this cute little ornament says "Tis the season to be jolly." You know, fa la 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 la. Um, very cute. I'm bouncing all over the place, and I apologize for that. Um, I'm trying to remember where that Target gift card was from. I don't remember. Was it from my? Green Daddy and Grimmy Lisa, maybe? Maybe. My mom got me more lotion and my stocking, and I got, you know, more stocking candy. My grandma got me a toothbrush. The usual. Oh, yeah, and this is the bag that my burrito blanket came in. Then I got these bath bombs from my granddaddy and Grammy Lisa. Alana, Sienna, come up for dinner and the dogs are still out. I guess I'll have to finish doing this video after first Wednesday. So I will continue with this after. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I just got back from first Wednesday, which is something my church does where every first Wednesday of the month they do this like awesome service. It's really great. Lots of good worship. You know, and they actually sang House of the Lord, which is really cool because I was just talking, well, in my other video I just recorded, I was talking about that song. Anyway, um, I don't quite remember where I was with this all. And it's 10.13 p.m., so I'm a little, I'm a little, like, I don't know. I'm a, I don't know, my energy's kind of high, I guess, from, like, I guess you could call it a spiritual high, almost. Um... Like, sometimes you just get these, like, you know, after a really good service, sermon, worship, you just get, like, hype. And being with my friends and all that, so, yeah. Um, anyway, like I said, I got a Target gift card, which I used. So, I'm actually going to throw this away. Ooh, I need burp. Then, from my Grammy, I got this. I think it was from my Grammy. 
this cute little pink beanie, which actually looks so stinking cute with this, with this shirt. So that's cute. I love pink. I also got this really nice hat and these gloves, or was this hat from, this hat might have been from someone else. I don't, honestly, I don't remember who this hat's from because my Grammy got me this really, really super cute hat. It's very warm too, like it's fuzzy on the inside. And then these gloves, which are so warm, they don't look warm, they're kind of thin, but they are so warm, like believe it or not. And they have the thumb thing and the uh, pointer finger thing on the tip so that I can use my phone with it, which is so helpful. I have another pair of gloves like that, even though it's kind of broken on it. Oh no, my nail broke. Oh, it didn't really hurt. It's just sad because it was long and out short. That's the thing with my nails, like my nails grow like pretty long, but then at a certain length, they just break. This looks kind of weird, but I didn't even know I was getting this. My parents got me a hair cutting kit because I've been talking about how I wanted one because I want to be able to give myself haircuts, which I've never done before. But I wanted to start doing that because I want to like get trims every three months, but I don't want to necessarily go to a haircut place to do that. So it's like an entire kit. It has like the proper combs. Honestly, I might get my, it has a brush, the proper cutting scissors, has this nice comb too. I think I might try to get my older sister to give me a trim on Sunday when she comes over because I trust her with my hair because she does her stuff with her hair. Um, so I trust her. And then I got a couple of like petticoats to put under some of my dresses. Specifically like my plaid pink and white 1950s dress because I feel like it would look so pretty and so much more like a 1950s dress with that petticoat underneath because they're very they tend to go out and it mine is kind of like this it goes out some but i want it to go out exactly how it looks so you have that figure and everything so yeah i wanted that here are said socks oh they have a little dirt on them here are the said socks that i got to match the blanket see like i said with the grippies and they're really fuzzy on the inside so nice so warm I love fuzzy socks. My feet always get cold. Um, and then I don't know if you count these as Christmas presents because my parents just gave them to me because my little sister had just like the, we, they spent the same amount on us, but she had more less stuff than me. So my parents actually got me these because they needed to buy. They were trying to buy something from the Funko Pop store for my little sister for her for Christmas or for her birthday or something like that but they wanted to get free shipping so they f figured they'd ask if there's any I wanted and I love 21 Pilots so I got these Funko Pops from 21 Pilots then um this is really cool it's a ton of records because I wanted to make a oh gosh it's falling out I wanted to make a wall in my room with all the records because I I need an update for my room because I still have all those like signs that like were really popular like in the 2010s and 2015 like the the signs like good vibes or love above all things which I think is actually these are cute signs some of these ones I still have my, on my wall they're cute but I don't really want them as my decoration decor in my room it's like stay weird I liked unicorns before it was cool those type of things you know or like there's one that I gave to my Grammy because she wanted it called and it was like collect moments not things like it's that type of stuff so I wanted to do something new so I got these records well, I asked for these records to put on my on my wall in a cool little collage because I thought that'd be pretty dope. Um, and then finally, I got these really cool vintage looking signs. So we have like Wonder, I love vintage stuff by the way. Wonder Woman, Captain America, uh, Iron Man, like very comic accurate. This is Spider-Man, and then 
Superman. Fun fact, he was Superman was my favorite superhero when I was a kid. And it's funny, these are the posts, the signs I asked for, but it came with an extra one and it says little boys are just superheroes in disguise. Oh, so cool. But anyway, I got those. Uh, well, I wanted those for my dorm specifically to have like dorm decor and eventually one day when I have an office and like or game room type of deal, like a video game room office, I thought those would be so cool because my boyfriend and I, one day when we get married and live together, we want to have like a office slash gaming studio type of room and we want to do like a wall of Funko Pops that we've all collected, both the both of us. So that will be pretty cool. And then, um, just a notable mention, I suppose. These aren't Christmas gifts, but I spent some of the Target gift cards I got for, well, for Christmas and for birthdays and previous Christmases. I got these three Funko Pops, and I so wish I'd gotten the Flash one, but I didn't think to get it. They're really cool. Because I wanted, I was like, I saw the Funko Pops, and I was like, eh, I'm not going to get I saw the flash one. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna get it. And then later I was like, actually, I was like, oh, I should get some of these. These are actually pretty cool. And then I forgot to get the flash one. Anyway, um, I feel like that went over everything. I'm, and oh, of course, you know, candy, more candy. I'm so sorry that was like so sporadic, so everywhere. And I was talking very fast in this video. I was talking very fast in this video in the beginning because I was just like um, trying to record it before I went to first Wednesday. Why is it like a ball there? Oh, it's just how the light's shining. <laughs> and then afterwards, I was just like, you know, might as well keep the same energy going. And I kind of want to like chill, eat some ice cream, maybe watch some YouTube, you know? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that video, this video, I don't know why I said that video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, it's always nice, and subscribe if you like my content. I want to post more, we'll see what happens, it's always a goal of mine to post more at the end of each year, we'll see if it happens, but uh, yeah, just know that Jesus loves you and that he's our Lord and Savior, and all you gotta do is Believe in him, believe that he died on the cross for your sins and repent of your sins. Because, you know, honestly, I just, at the end of the day, it's so important to spread the gospel. And I just, I want everyone to be able to know who Jesus is and know how amazing he is. So, yeah, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. I mean, I'm weird. Um, yeah guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!